Hello friends, the bananas are back, but need to take off for a bit of a vacation, so they commissioned Rat in a Hat to house sit for them. It was a fairly poor choice by B1 and B2, but luckily Lulu was there to help. This story is called House Sitter, and as always, here we have only the finest quality children's stories read by the finest quality narrator. Just kidding. But the stories are fantastic and hopefully you will enjoy these renditions. The bananas were going on vacation. As they were waiting for the bus on Cuddles Avenue, Rat in a Hat came out of his shop. Going on vacation, Bananas? Have you got your tickets? asked Rat. Right here, said the Bananas. And your toothbrush and toothpaste? asked Rat. Right here, said the Bananas. And someone to look after your house while you're away? asked Rat. No, said B1 and B2. With a smile, Rat produced a big badge from his pocket. The words on the badge read, Rat in a hat, official house sitter, reasonable rates. I'll take care of your house. Trust me, I'm a rat, grinned Rat in a hat. Oh, thank you, said B1 and B2. Rat in a hat moved into the banana's house. He dumped his clothes in a big heap on the floor. Then he went to the kitchen to find something to eat. There must be something tasty here somewhere, he muttered as he rummaged through the shelves. Munchy honey cakes? Oh, yum! Rat licked his lips, opened the jar, and stuffed a munchy honey cake into his mouth. One week later, Lulu went to the banana's house. When Rat in a Hat opened the front door, Lulu was very surprised. Everything was a terrible mess. There were pizza boxes, hamburger wrappings, and empty soda cans lying all over the floor. Look at this place, she said. What a terrible mess. Lulu turned to Rat in a Hat. You are going to clean everything up before the bananas get back, aren't you, Rat? Me? Well, I'm very busy, stuttered Rat. Busy doing what? Sleeping, eating, and making a big mess, asked Lulu. Oh, cheese and whiskers, muttered Rat. So under Lulu's watchful eye, Rat in a Hat cleaned up the banana's house. First he picked up the garbage, then he dusted the furniture and scrubbed the floors. At last it was all done. Rat in a Hat was exhausted. He fell onto the couch just as the bananas walked into the front door. The bananas looked around the house. My goodness, look how clean everything is, B2. And look how neat and tidy everything is, B1. It's a good thing we hired an official house sitter, said B1 and B2. Yes, agreed Lulu, trying not to laugh. The bananas went to thank Rat in a Hat for taking such good care of their house, but he was fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> 